Forgiveness releases people as though it never was. Luke chapter 23 verses 33 and 34. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots. This is the highest example of extending forgiveness to your offenders. The Lord Jesus, having, so, having been so brutally uh, treated by the Roman soldiers, hanging there on the cross, he prays to the Father and he says, Father, forgive them. Forgive these very people who've nailed me to the cross. Forgive these very people who've whipped me, who've mocked me, who've, who've done all these things to me. Forgive them because they do not know what they've done. I mean, they don't understand what they're doing. They're just carrying out orders. They're executing whatever they've been told. They're giving into the pressures of the people and so on. Father, forgive them. But in releasing forgiveness, he was not just forgiving them. He was speaking forgiveness to you and to me. Remember, it was not just their sins that nailed them to the cross. He took upon him the sins of the whole world. And what happens to us today as we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and we receive forgiveness for our sins? You know how God treats us? He does not treat us as people who, who owe him a great debt because we receive forgiveness. He treats us as people who have never sinned. And that's the power of forgiveness. That forgiveness that God gives to us puts us in a place as though it never was, as though sin was never was in our lives, as though we were never once the, 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 the sinners uh, who committed those sins. He brings us to a place and he calls us saints, people who have, uh, have been so justified in the eyes of God that our past has been wiped out. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 10 and verse 17 that our sins and our lawless deeds, God remembers no more. That means he's looked at us as people uh, who never did those things. Our sins and our lawless deeds, he remembers no more. So here's a very important part of forgiveness. Forgiveness releases the person as though it never was. We're not denying that something may have wrong may have happened in the past, but today, when I release, when I interact with that person, it's a new day. It's a new beginning. I do not interact with that person, holding that person to the things of the past. It's gone. Their wrongs I remember no more. That's releasing forgiveness to somebody because that's the manner in which we have been forgiven. Let's do the same to others. Look at them as new people. Uh, interact with them in fresh, brand new ways. Don't hold their past against them. Release forgiveness. Let's pray. Father, we ask you for the grace to see people in a new way. Even as we forgive them, not to hold their past against them, but to see them in brand new ways as you see us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.